The user program was loaded onto the target system and is now processed in real time. Checking and, if necessary, correcting the program logic is the next step. On paper, a program logic can be followed very well. However, the real dynamic run behavior of a user program shows only in real-time operation. The Sematic Manager provides an excellent test function for this, the program status. Initially, the first main function is monitoring the program run. With the second main function, controlling, you actively engage with the program run. We show you the application in the programming language ladder diagram, and we start with monitoring a block. We open the monitored block directly in the user memory of the CPU via double-click in the online window. The program editor is automatically opened in this display mode. You activate the program status function via the monitoring button in the toolbar. In the program status, the editor constitutes the active binary program flow with a selectable color, green in this example, and shows the current signal status of the operands. If signal status and signal flow change, you will recognize this immediately in a change of color. This makes it very easy to recognize the program status and to trace the program logic quickly and simply. In the program status, parallel to monitoring the program run, you can additionally modify binary inputs and outputs as well as memory bits directly. This intervention has a direct impact on the program run and enables dynamic testing of all kinds of different program states. We show you two ways of controlling the operands. For control and contact, you first mark the operands in the symbol table, which is necessary for the intended test scenario. This promotes clarity in the later test mode. If the control and contact function has been selected and the program status activated, only the buttons for the marked operands are displayed. Clicking the button changes the value of the operand. Using the pre-selection via the symbol table effectively prevents unintended modification of operands which are not part of the test. Another means of direct modification is changing the status of an operand with the commands modify to 0 or modify to 1. Both versions have advantages. The control at contact function enables you to process even extensive test scenarios. Direct operand modifying is suitable for testing individual signal changes and their effect immediately and quickly. Naturally, the program status functions monitoring and modifying are also available for you in the language's function block diagram and statement list. In the programming language statement list, further language-specific functions are offered, such as the display of logic operation results or register contents of the Sematic Manager.